life. Pop up the chat. Nice. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Hope you're doing well. Oh, we got the sun hitting the camera and uh, I need to cover that up. I'm gonna do a little adjustment. Ding Bobber, how are you doing? When I was setting this up, the camera was uh, better. The sun wasn't hitting it, but it is hitting it now. So I'm gonna try to adjust that. <laughs> it's coming around the corner. So let's do this. I'm gonna set up a little barricade here so the sun doesn't bother us. I'll be right back, gang, okay? I'll be right back. Elder God, Nate, how are you guys doing? This should work. This should work. There we go. Nice. Elder God. What's that? We're getting into, uh, what do you call it? Uh, rush hour kicking in. So we might be getting a little bit of sound of cars and whatnot. That's better, I think. Sorry about the the particle board wall there i'll move the camera over so we don't see that get a better angle of the thing <laughs> hope you guys are doing well i just wanted to do a little quick uh live stream in our patio to uh what do you call it uh, to harvest some goodies uh, i was gonna come out here this is our mint um but i have a whole bunch of other things that are like ready to harvest like check this out <laughs> I gotta do here. Let me do a little motion. <laughs> Uncharted Ace, how are you doing? Like, we got some salad greens. This is uh, a mustard greens. We got, we got lettuce. I want to harvest. Can you see my rota? I just went on a break. Rota. What else we got? I got uh, some Italian parsley I want to harvest. Okay. And uh, we got our strawberries here. There's no strawberries. Uh, we already ate a whole bunch. Uh, we got this guy is, um, what is this guy? This guy is, uh, should I give you a list of the things that we're growing? Slick Mick, how are you doing? Slick Mick is back here to support you, my man. She's so awesome. Awesome. Fun. Padre, Padre, Padre. How's life? Chicho looks like a beautiful morning there. I'm at work, but I got uh, you playing in the background for the good vibes. Awesome, awesome. Good morning, good morning, by the way. Good morning. R3 N day. Where are you from, sir? I'm in Canada, west coast of Canada. Should I let you know? Uh, before we start harvesting, I want to give you the names of things that we're growing here right now. Good to see you again. Blood Axe, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thank you very much. Sure, let's do that. Okay, Ch check. This is some of the stuff that we're growing right now. I went through yesterday, but we got more stuff. There's, you know, we got grapes here. Here's like our grape vines coming in from the top right here's the here's the things that we got growing this season in our patio right we got rosemary we got uh yarrow we got saint john's wort we got uh, uh nasturgeon nost okay this is the nasturgeon stuff there's three of them here you can eat the leaves and the flowers are very tasty okay we have mint we got fennel we got uh, marigold we got uh, hu uh, huckle suckle hung huckle suckle <laughs> we got cucumber we got two different types of cucumber just regular cucumbers and watermelon cucumbers we have uh, hyssop uh, 
we got parsley we got butter lettuce good morning chicho gino how are gina how are you doing we got uh clo uh we we put clover for nitrogen to give uh the plants uh huckle suckle huckle suckle <laughs> we, got, we put clover uh, just to in some of the pots to bring in nitrogen so that's good we have green onions uh, we got sunflower, we got dill, we got chard, we got strawberry, we got parsley, we got mustard greens, we got stevia, uh, we got, um, uh, what do you call it, basil, and uh, zucchini, okay? So that's some of the stuff we're growing. We also have uh, black currant, we have uh, raspberry, um, I have datura growing that I grew from uh, uh, seeds actually like how many years ago I, years ago like over like this datura plant that i have probably around 18 years ago i grew from seeds right awesome goes with me everywhere right we have tons of tomatoes right um we got obviously our uh, jade and stuff x how are you doing yeah zucchini for sure namasta dr p how are you doing so awesome yeah it's it's so lush and green in our patio right now this is the best setup we've had so far i spent like a like a good week just cleaning everything laying everything down and just organizing everything so very happy to have it to the state where now you can start harvesting and enjoying and whatnot happy 16 16 24 of one in the eurozone <laughs> <laughs> oh where's my 420 puffer listen gang i'm gonna start harvesting some uh herbs and stuff um i just wanted to do this as a live stream just to just to you know show you the whole cycle because i've been showing you a lot of my greens and herbs and stuff like this and showing you some of the patio we've done here showing you some of the cooking streams we've done with food that we've harvested here right uh may it be picking fruit or just uh, getting some of the grapes right so the grape vines are amazing right now right we got a great canopy going and we have grapes hanging i'll show you guys this when we start harvesting the grapes they're not ready for harvesting yet right yet right so i just wanted to show you guys the full cycle that is really worthwhile growing your own food not only does it calm you down just bring you peace really plants are amazing gang if i can recommend something start getting a green thumb i didn't have a green thumb until like 20 years ago when i started growing some other herbs <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> baked how are you doing how did you learn how to do this i learned it here i'll give you the lowdown i'll i'll just let you know this okay i learned how to grow plants have have a relationship with plants by growing salvia divinorum 20 years ago and if anybody's grown salvia divinorum you know it's one of the hardest plants to keep happy to grow the first batches of stuff and it was legal back then right 20 years ago the first batch of salvia divinorums we got uh, they all died like we had 30 cuttings and they all died in within a week i was like oh my god the second batch didn't do well the third batch and slowly over a year i learned how to grow plants i built up a relationship with salvia divinorum and all of a sudden i could grow anything almost anything right it just gave me an introduction to the realm of entheogens to a level that i'd never encountered before right and then i realized i grew a relationship with food that i realized i had to eat healthier and whatnot and hence just got into growing food nicholas how are you doing how's life brother hope uk is treating you well we haven't seen you for a while i hope everything's okay i hope you're doing well uh wazas how are you doing my uk buddy elder god says <laughs> nicholas love plants i've actually just started over the past few weeks uh getting some herbs and salad going nice hello all daniel lucky how are you doing and angered my buddy gave me some of his salvia he bought online because he doesn't know how to smoke it apparently my entry level knowledge of cannabis means i'm a plant expert yeah salvia different game and angered it's a different game it's 
What did, by the way, I plan on doing a series, starting a series on Chicho's Salvia de Norm Chronicles at some point. Okay, I'm going to let you guys know my experience with Salvia de Venorum and what I learned from it and all that jazz. But that's still a few steps away. Okay, that's still a few steps away. Uh, need to grow the BitChute uh, stuff and other platforms because I don't think this is going to go, it would go on uh, YouTube. I've been planning my wedding and working, but I'm glad to. Is this the wedding, Nicholas? Wedding with the girl you met when you went on vacation, when you broke up with the other girl and you were down and you met this girl? Is this wedding with her? Dude, if that's the case, fantastic. Blood axe. I found UK people to be friendly in general. Nice. And anger. Oh, sure. I told him I have no clue. <laughs> nice. Last night uh, was my first uh, virtual concert. Cheap ticket. Lena Lahavas. It was fantastic. Really, Ding Bobber. Awesome. Elder God. Can you link uh, the word of plant? The, the word of plant? Salvia de Venoro. Salvia de Venoro. If that's what you mean elder god nikki icky how are you doing the harder the task the greater the lesson i learned to play guitar on the highest steel string in the universe now i possess the strongest fingers in the world <laughs> nice <laughs> brando how are you doing that's her nicholas that's her thanks for the advice at the time ah oh, nicholas fantastic man i'm super happy for you man Congrats, congrats. Congrats, congrats. Yeah, Nicholas, I thought uh, you were, you stepped away for good as well, as Elder God says. I've been making a meditation track last night with atmospheric music and guided meditation. Nice, Brando. This is meditative. Awesome, Brando. Yeah, being, being with my plants is, is meditative for me really brings me peace never never you're gonna leave us awesome Nicholas love to have you man uh, thing bobber Chicho my friend experienced ego death on the dollar store variant of salvia though I know that's not what you meant by salvia yeah. never knew that was a concept have to check it out I learned to play guitar on my dad's 12 strings Wah. I've been making a point to make uh, to be in nature, go for night walks in a local park, letting my mind clear. Brando, fantastic man. Nature is amazing. And I've done, I used to do overnight walks around. Uh, one of the rituals we used to have when I lived in Vancouver with friends uh, was I would take them on a midnight walk in Stanley Park. Uh, consume entheogens and go for a walk nice gang let's harvest some greens I got some bowls here um, you know what what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take down some mint right now okay I got some uh, bowls here okay so I'm gonna take down some mint now this thing's heavy I'm not gonna bring it closer so I'm gonna step back and harvest some mint uh, I hope you guys are having a good time. We're just going to chill with this and I'll show you guys some of the other greens that we're going to be harvesting. Okay. I got my trusted scissors. We, we repotted this and it just went, just exploded. By the way, gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Given the haircut, look at this, right? It smells like the smell is amazing.
every now and then you get weeds growing, you just take them out and dump them out, right? I'll clean the stuff later. Throw them there. Amazing. the mint. Check this out. Check this out. Right. Good mint. Cheryl, how are you doing? I'm sorry if you already mentioned it. Is that peppermint? It's mint. This is mint. It's like mint uh if you grow grow herbs mint loves a haircut right it's weed right so you trim it it grows more trim it grows more so that's a nice haircut you know 
and what I'm gonna do is just gonna give these guys a wash and uh, let them dry and like before we've put out a couple of three four mint videos where we hang the mint and dry the mint these ones some of these ones are you know they're small right so I'm just gonna wash them and another way that I dry mint I give these guys a wash rinse them um, and then you know put them in a spinner and spin them and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna lay out a cloth and just spread these over a cloth so that's one way to dry mint as well the longer ones I might hang right because it's nice hanging as well okay Eduardo how are we doing hope you're doing well okay that's the mint let's harvest some uh, lettuce okay mojitos mojitos it's a cuban drink very delicious mojito with uh, mint and sugar and uh, rum right hey there eagle and cycling how are you doing think you'll ever completely shave again uh, yeah at some point for sure at some point for sure you know what i'm gonna harvest mustard greens first because it's close here okay we've got three mustard green green plants so bring this here okay big bowl i'm gonna put the lettuce and the mustard greens in the same thing eating mint is set to relax oneself it does like, look at this and check this out like this is fresh just like beautiful right like so like it's not thick it's just it was just generated right amazing very yummy okay very yummy and you brush it brush it's heaven look at this mustard greens i'm gonna take these guys down because check it out these guys they're already flowering right so i'm gonna chop it down from the bottom and then take the mustard green leaves right and we just eat these right but i'm gonna trim it down take it all the way down so it doesn't bolt right because when it bolts uh it becomes a little bit bitter right so i'm giving these guys a nice haircut Here's a spider. Come on, spider. I'm taking your home down. Sorry, gotta give him a haircut. And what, what I'm gonna do with the excess is basically just we're gonna wash everything, right? And we're gonna get a fair bit. So what I'm gonna do is whatever we're not able to eat in the next like let's say within a week, I'm gonna uh, cut up uh, in cuckoo style so I can you know have them really already broken down and uh, just put them in the freezer and whenever we want, we just make cuckoo. <laughs> Here's the spider. Check him out. I'll put them back in the pot. Look at, check this out. Here's a spider. Lots of spiders. Spiders are good, actually. Very good. Is it going to focus on the spider? I don't think so. Spider is too small. Okay, buddy, back you go. Here, let's see. <laughs> Come
You made toothpaste with pen, Chicho. Will you be harvesting any shrooms? No, I haven't planted any shrooms. Um, my partner knows mushrooms better. Like, I don't know mushrooms. Uh, my partner knows some mushrooms that we sometimes harvest when we go for walks and stuff. And I have a friend that's making a growing a mushroom business on the East Coast. So, let's put this guy here. Come here. Come back into the pot, buddy. Okay, let's put this guy here. So, nice haircut. See? Nice haircut. Let me put this. Actually, let me put this guy here. Look at this. I'm going to do more of these guys. And these flowers, these flowers you can eat as well, right? For sure, I'm gonna cut these up for cuckoo later. This is a must, uh, mustard greens. But the flower parts you can eat, like, check this out. It's like a salad. Very good. So, so far, this is what we got. Like holy camoles on a patio. And we just went through like three pot, four pots, right? Pretty good. And you save yourself money, financial advice, grow food. We're gonna do lettuce. Let's do some lettuce. Not a bowl. Oh, how, how long will it take? Uh, these are seasonal, right? So these ones will grow back again. Maybe in a in a week we can take some more because I didn't cut off everything. There's still a little bit left, so we can get another harvest just to eat some more uh, salad. Uh, in a couple of weeks, it should grow more. Uh, the lettuce. We would have to do more planting of the lettuce. I'm going to show you the lettuce. Let me show you what we got here. Check it out. And we've got four of these pots. Okay. 
dragons, how are you doing? This lettuce is very very thin like it makes it make amazing salad right? No, I haven't talked about uh, the harvesting between morning and uh, p.m. I just like the morning because it's morning. Um, but I, I think in the afternoon, the they perk up a lot more. Which one do you think is better, Cheryl? Morning or p.m. or afternoon? When is the best time to harvest? I haven't looked too deep into it, actually. sure Catholic traditionalist would know when the best time is and dr. P would you know early after dark is the best time to harvest Really? That's the best time to harvest. So I'm doing it exactly the wrong time. Early AM, early AM, okay, awesome. We're doing it right. So that's what we got off this pot, right? Look at these leaves. Look at that. Delicious. This, this is butter lettuce <laughs> Brando it is butter lettuce very nice
Retro greetings, greetings. Yeah, that photosynthesis has ended, has gone into dormancy throughout the night, has a cleaner taste. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. P, for letting us know. <laughs> Not dairy, Elder God. <laughs> awesome. We might start getting some uh, truck noises and stuff. They're doing construction around here. So I was trying to make sure we able to do this before the construction started. Oh, I love the internet. <laughs> This thing is amazing, this one. Look at that. set that up because the sun was shining right into the camera sorry about the noise gang Here's another spider going, hey, what are you doing to my house? Sorry, buddy.
I'm gonna eat some of this today. <laughs> hey, Chicho, working on some math proofs and watching you harvest. Pretty good day here in Norway. Awesome, awesome banana stein. Okay, that's our lettuce harvest. Let me show you this. Here's how much lettuce we got. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Like, look at this. <laughs> like, where would you get this in a store, a grocery store? You wouldn't. You could go to farmer's markets and stuff, get this fresh, right? But it doesn't get any fresher than this, right? And this is, like, look at this. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Delicious. Super delicious. A couple of more things I want to harvest. I want to harvest some um, basil and a little bit of parsley we have. Uh, Italian parsley, okay? Here's Italian parsley. a little bit of leaf on there right nice actually I'm gonna go get another bowl to put the hot parsley and basil in there I'll be back very quickly little bit of more uh, parsley to harvest let me bring out this guy this guy's a heavy pot Smells amazing. Really. And we're gonna harvest some, uh, we have some, uh, what do you call that? Uh, chives here as well. Eh? But these aren't really ready to harvest. Huh? 
and green onions very good or chives green onions chives I'm not 100% sure on that but some uh, basil let's get some basil going Not too much basil, uh, because basil uh, basil doesn't uh, last as long as uh, in uh, like once harvested. You have to eat it sooner uh, rather than later. It's the one that one of the herbs that uh, it what do you call it uh, dries up fast. It becomes black basically. So we're gonna harvest enough to be able to eat in the next two, three days. And the smell is amazing. Good idea actually Cheryl so cut the basil put it in a cup of water and it'll keep for a while that's a good idea and you can make uh, what do you call it uh, uh, what's that paste you make with basil uh, what's it called pesto <laughs> that's it dragons <laughs> chicho has got dark in chat the human plant uh, condition yeah uh, pesto pesto is fantastic we make fresh pesto actually so good so good and pesto in yogurt take pesto mix it in with yogurt like 50 50 oh no more yogurt than pesto depending on the pesto if you made it really sharp it's like oh so good it makes amazing dip for different foods this uh, this one this basil is very short right now so I'm not gonna harvest too much it feels like it's a different types of type of basil than the other one Just make sure you're not eating any bugs when you pick it fresh, right? Not bad. The other one's stronger. I'm gonna cut a little bit more, just with my fingers. a minor trim a 
little haircuts. Check it out. Oop. Lost one. Here comes the sun again, eh? Okay, this guy's done. Sturgeon? I forgot what it's called. These guys. Herba mate, yeah. These things. These are really good as well. And they give amazing... Uh, uh, the, the, the flowers for these taste so good. So good. I'm about this thing here too. I forget what this is called. Check out the flowers on it. Right? Super yummy. It's got a uh, it's got a licorice flavor to it, but it's not licorice. It's from the licorice family. Very delicious. This thing. Like, wow, it's called, uh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Hyssop? No. I forgot what it's called. Should I give you the names? Uh, Shamario, Ch Ch Shamario, I don't know. Let me give you the names of, uh, I did this at the beginning of the stream, but I'll give you the names of some of the stuff that we're growing. I sort of walked through here yesterday with my partner and sort of went, what's this, what's this, what's this? So uh, we have a few other things aside from this. We have uh, grapes, we have uh, uh, tomatoes, we have uh, black currant, we have raspberry. We're growing jade. I'm always growing jade. I have Datura that I've been growing from seed. N a nas nasturi nasturium, Cheryl. That's that's what it is. Our great in, great in salad, uh, nasturtium, nasturtium. Okay, that's what it is. So good, so good. But here's what we got so far: uh, gooseberries, Saint John's Wort, rosemary, uh, yarrow, uh, nasturtium, leaf and flower. Oh, that's the the nasturtium. I think it's this one. Uh, fennel, uh, marigold, mint, honeysuckle, cucumber. Two versions: watermelon cucumber and uh, just regular cucumber. Um, hyssop, uh, parsley, butter, lettuce, zucchini, uh, basil, stevia, mustard greens, parsley, strawberries, dill, chard, sunflower, green onions. Um, and we got clover in a lot of the pots uh, and yeah fennel we're growing as well we've got clover in a lot of the pots just to give it nitrogen increase the nitrogen level on it it's good for the plants they like it okay and this is what we got the harvest sounds like a list of all me and my gang members <laughs> roll call <laughs> fun may i ask where you're streaming from i'm in the uh, west coast of canada Mighty Butter Lettuce Smith. So check this out. This is what we got so far. This morning, we harvested this much mints. Okay. That's a good bowl. Good bowl of mints. I'm going to be drying this. I'm going to wash, keep some fresh to eat fresh. And then mint keeps a long time if you put it in a, um, a cloth right wash it dry it and put it in a cloth and, a, and then in a bag and keep it in the fridge it'll keep for oh, oh battery running low gang battery running low what do we got oh, oh we got eight minutes left gang mint mustard greens Butter lettuce.
parsley and basil okay that's what we got out of a patio for one day's so one morning's harvest grow your own food gang everybody i gotta cut it the battery's gonna go okay thank you for being here uh, um i like these unannounced live streams thank you for the advice gang of uh, what some of these things are how to keep them longer and harvesting in the morning the best so next stream when we're doing tomatoes or whatever it is when we're going to harvest some more stuff um if i get a chance we'll do again okay salute everyone i hope you have a fantastic fantastic day okay and if you want to support this project patreon is the way to go patreon.com backslash chicho chycho you want to participate in live streams twitch is where you want to be at chicho live I do announce these streams on Twitter, Gabs, Mines, VK, LO, and Parlor. Okay. Some of the audio will be uploading to SoundCloud, and we're going to upload this video to YouTube and BitChute. All the links in the description of the video. You can join, you can support, you can follow, you can share, you can like, you can comment, you can participate, you can grow food uh, and live a healthy life and meditate on greens. Okay. Bye, everyone. Be safe, everyone. Peace.